Uh, well, basically, it's the Molyneux as it was back in the 1950s, 60s, 70s. Mm. A mixture of all three uh, decades, really, yeah. because you'll notice things in it that were there in the 50s but weren't there in the 60s and so on. Mm. Um, but I, I used to go to watch the wolves um, from the age of 12, something like that, Yes. right the way through to the present day, really. Um, and... I just loved the the old ground, mm. and when it was knocked down, it was uh, well. It was a terrible feeling, really. Yes, you know, it yes. Was, uh, um, a part of my history of youth. Yes. Um, which you know which had gone, mm. um, and I'd always had this plan, um, at some time or other, to build a Molyneux um, that looked like those days. Yes. How long did this take you to build? Um, I suppose like in uh, man weeks, probably around about 20 to 30 weeks. Right. Um, I've been working on it for the uh, biggest part of uh, 18 months to two years. Yes. I started on it in October 2016 mm. and I finished it recently, so yes. 18 months you could say of the, mm. over the whole period. Um, I didn't do a lot last summer. Mm. Um I started again during the winter and I've been spending something like two or three hours a day, two or three days a week. Uh, and, you, and you're hoping that somebody and, uh, will auction these off I'm, for you, aren't you? Yes, I'm a, I've been a long-suffering uh, prostate cancer um, patient and uh, I've been through quite a lot since 2004. Mm. Um, I've been treated by the Worcestershire uh, Health Service uh, and more recently by um, uh, NHS in London. And they've done a marvellous job on me, mm. saved my life basically yes. at the end of the day. Um, and really, I want to give something back. Wonderful. Um, I've always wanted to build a wall stadium, but it isn't something I want to keep. No. <laughs> uh, I've got nowhere to put it. <laughs> it can't stay on this snooker table no, forever. No. Um, and I thought, well, it, you know, there must be some really keen Wolves fans out there that would love it. Fantastic. And it would raise a decent amount of money. Absolutely. For, it's a great idea. Um, you know, something to do with uh, prostate cancer. Mm. Perhaps it, not only prostate cancer, there, you know, there might be um, uh, other ideas of um, what the money could be used for. Wonderful. But of course, at the end of the day, it depends how much it uh, raises. Yes. If it's yeah. only a few hundred pounds, then perhaps just prostate cancer research. Mm. Um I know, uh, like football and football players, football teams, like prostate cancer has been uh, one of the things at the forefront of yes. what they've been really raising money for. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, um, perhaps this can be tied up absolutely with that through the walls. And have you got any plans to make a, a model of the current stadium at all? None at all. <laughs> no, no. This is the last stadium I've been building. I, <laughs> absolutely. Don't, uh, yeah. I want to get back to more mundane. Uh, carpentry, making <laughs> cases and uh, bird boxes, if you like. <laughs> Very good. It's excellent work, anyway. Yeah. Wonderful.